Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Microbiology with Sumi. If you like my video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Today's video is on Microbial Culture Media Composition Part 2. Let's see the list of culture media compositions which we are going to discuss here. The first is huge and lift sense medium, amino acid decarboxylation medium, peptone nitrate broth, arginine broth, phenyl alanine deamination medium, deoxycholate citrate agar, triple sugar ion agar, mannitol salt agar, egg yolk agar and capex dox thoms agar. With the composition of this media, I will also discuss various role of different ingredients that are used in this media. Let's see the first one that is huge and Lifson's medium. Now what is the composition? Here we are going to prepare the medium for 100 ml and the components are peptone 0.2 gram, NaCl 0.5 gram, K2HPO4 0.03 gram, agar agar 0.03 gram, distilled water 100 ml, 0.2% bromothymol blue 15 ml, glucose 1 gram, paraffin oil 10 to 20 ml and pH is 7.1. Now let's see the rule. Here huge and Lifson's medium is used in oxidative and fermentative test. Now let's see the role of components. First one is peptone. Peptone acts as a source of carbon, nitrogen and energy. Second is NaCl. It maintains the osmotic balance. Third one is K2HPO4. It acts as a buffer. Now buffer resists the change in pH. Agar agar is a solidifying agent and bromothymol blue is an indicator dye. This indicator dye is used to detect the change in pH. Whereas glucose is used as a source of carbon and paraffin oil is used to maintain an aerobic conditions. Now here is an important note. Bromothymol blue is an indicator dye. In acidic condition it shows yellow color whereas in neutral condition it shows blue color. And in alkaline condition it shows green color of the medium. This was our first medium. The second one is amino acid decarboxylation medium. Now let's see the media components. Here also we are preparing this medium for 100 ml and the components are peptone 0.5 gram, meat extract 0.5 gram, glucose 0.05 gram, pyridoxine hydrochloride 0.5 gram, distilled water 100 ml, pH is 6.7 and here bromo, uh, bromo cerisol purple that is 1 is to 500 concentration we are using and that we are going to take 5 ml. Cerisol red is 2.5 ml. L lysine that is monohydrochloride we are going to use 1 gram. Now let's see the role of different medium components. Now first of all this medium amino acid decarboxylation medium it is used to isolate different genera of species that is enterobacteriaceae. Now it is used to isolate the different organisms which are related to a species that is enterobacteriaceae family. And the first media component that is meat extract it acts as a source of mineral growth factor and amino acids. Second is glucose. Glucose is a source of carbon and it produces acid plus gas after fermentation. So glucose here it acts as a source of carbon and the byproduct that is after the fermentation of glucose here we get acid and gas. Now the next is pyridoxine hydrochloride. It is a cofactor that enhances the rate of reaction. The next one is bromosrisol purple and cerisol red. These both are indicator dye and L lysine is a test component. Now this was our second medium that is amino acid decarboxylation medium. The third medium is peptone nitrate broth. Now let's see the media components. Peptone 0.5 gram, KNO3 0.2 gram, 
distill water 100 ml and pH is 7. Now let's see the role. Now this medium is used in peptone nitrate reduction test. So this is used in a biochemical test that is called as peptone nitrate reduction test. Now peptone act as a source of carbon, nitrogen and energy and KNO3 that is potassium nitrate is used as a test component. This was a third medium. Fourth medium is arginine broth. Now let us see the components. It is also prepared for 100 ml. Here we are going to use tryptone 0.5 gram, yeast extract 0.5 gram, Na2HPO4 0.2 gram, L-arginine 0.3 gram, dextrose 0.05 gram, distilled water 100 ml and pH is 7. Now here the role. This media is used in arginine hydrolysis test. This is also a one type of biochemical test and the media component role. The first one is tryptone. Tryptone acts as a source of carbon, nitrogen and energy. Yeast extract acts as mineral growth factor and amino acid. So yeast extract acts here as a source of minerals growth factors and amino acids. Now Na2HPO4 is a buffer. L-arginine is a monochloride and the test component. Whereas dextrose is a source of carbon and on fermentation it produces acid and gas. So this was about arginine broth. Now our fifth medium is phenylalanine deamination medium and the components are Yeast extract 0.3 gram, L-phenylalanine 1 gram, Na2HPO4 0.1 gram, NaCl 0.5 gram, distilled water 100 ml, pH is 7.2, agar agar is 3 gram. And the role, now this medium is used for phenylalanine deamination test and the role of media component, yeast extract. It provides luxuriant growth of bacteria as it is a source of growth factors and amino acid. So it provides a luxurious growth and luxurious metabolism for microorganisms. Whereas L-phenylalanine is a test component and Na2HPO4 is a buffer. Now the sixth one is deoxycholate citrate agar. Now let's see the media components. Here we are going to prepare the media in two parts. First we will prepare solution A, then we will prepare solution B. And then we will prepare a complete media by combining some ingredients and solution A plus solution B. So in solution A we are going to use 17 grams sodium citrate. Then next is sodium thiosulfate that also we will be using 17 grams ferric citrate 2 grams and distilled water 100 ml. This will be our solution A. Now in solution B we will be adding sodium deoxycholate that is we are going to add 10 grams and distilled water we are going to take 100 ml. And after preparing these two solutions we are going to prepare our third medium and that medium is complete medium. Now in complete medium we are going to prepare nutrient agar 100 ml Composition of nutrient agar I have given you in my first uh, media composition part 1 video. Then we will be taking 1 gram lactose, uh, neutral red that is 0.002 grams. We will be adding for the solution A 5 ml and solution B 5 ml and the pH we will be adjusting to 7.4. Now let's see the role of different media components. Now first of all this deoxycholate citrate agar is used for isolation of shigella and salmonella. These two microorganisms especially this medium is used to isolate these two microorganisms. Now the role of sodium citrate it retards the growth of E. coli. Now when we isolate this both bacteria sometimes the growth of E. coli also appears on the medium. So this sodium citrate it inhibits the growth of E. coli. The next one is sodium thiosulfate. It is used for differentiation of H2S plus and H2S minus production. Further in my upcoming videos, I will be explaining different biochemical tests. In, in that videos, I will be explaining all the mechanism that is related to different biochemical tests. So the next one is sodium deoxycholate. It is a bile salt. 
the next one is lactose it is a source of carbon and neutral red is a indicator dye the seventh one is triple sugar ion agar now the media components are peptone 0.2 gram nacl 0.5 gram glucose 0.1 gram lactose 1 gram sucrose 1 gram meat extract 0.3 gram yeast extract 0.3 gram feso4 0.2 gram agar agar 3 gram phenol red 0.02 gram ph 7.4 sodium thiosulfate 0.03 gram now this media composition is for 100 ml and let's see the role triple sugar ion agar is a nutrient rich agar now we can see the components peptone glucose lactose sugar meat extract yeast extract it is full of nutrients so it is rich of nutrient as well as it allows luxurious growth of all bacteria so it is suitable for all bacterial growth now the eighth medium is mannitol salt agar now let's see the components this is also prepared for 100 ml now here we are going to use mannitol 1 gram peptone 1 gram nacl 0.7 grams beef extract 0.1 gram phenol red 0.025 gram agar agar 3 gram and distilled water 100 ml and the role is it is used for isolation of pathogenic strains of staphylococcus aureus the ninth medium is egg yolk agar and the media components are peptone 20 gram na2hpo4 2.5 gram mgso4 0.05 gram nacl 1 gram dextrose 1 gram agar agar 12.5 gram distilled water 500 ml so this media is prepared for 500 ml ph is 7.4 and egg yolk from one egg and let's see the role egg yolk agar is used for isolation of clostridium and other anaerobic spaces and now let's see the role of different components na2hpo4 is a buffer mgso4 is a source of magnesium plus plus ion whereas dextrose is a fermented sugar and it allows luxuriant growth of bacteria so this is used for bacterial growth luxuriant growth of bacteria now the 10th medium is capex dog's thumbs agar sucrose is 3 gram sodium nitrate 0.3 gram k2hpo4 0.1 gram magnesium sulfate 0 0.5 gram potassium chloride 0 0.5 gram ferrous sulfate in trace amount agar agar is 3 gram and distilled water 100 ml whereas the ph is 5.4 now let's see the role it is used for isolation and cultivation of fungi sucrose acts as a source of carbon next sodium nitrate is a source of nitrogen and k2hpo4 acts as a buffer whereas ferrous sulfate and acidic ph slows down the growth of bacteria and allows the growth of fungus this was all about culture media composition part 2 if you like my video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching